Shalom, Tanakh wisdom. The Ten Commandments, um, everybody says they know. But then when I ask people, okay, can you tell me what they are in order? Uh, no one can. Even I've asked spiritual leaders and your average Joe. And everybody says they know it, but then when I say give them to me in order, they can't. I think only one person did, and he was not a spiritual leader. Um, but that's, that's not functional, not functional at all. So, uh, we'll do the Ten Commandments at another time, but in uh, the Third Commandment is what I want to magnify today and make a correction of understanding. You've heard it said that uh, you will not lift up the name of Yahweh, your powers, in vain, uh, because he will not hold him guiltless who lifts up the name of Yahweh, your powers, in vain. That's the third commandment. And uh, I believe the general consensus is, the understanding is, if I say, God damn it, that I'm lifting up his name in vain, or if I, out of frustration, say, Jesus Christ, I'm lifting up his name in vain. But uh, such is not the case, and such is the case to warrant a knowledge of Hebrew, the language by which the scriptures was originally given in. So, in Hebrew, the third commandment says, Lotisa et Shem Yahweh Eloheka la Shawe, Kilo Yenake Yahweh et Asher Yisa et Shemo la Shawe. Do not lift up the name of Yahweh your powers to lack value and or content. The Hebrew word that they translate as vain is Shawa, Shin Wa Aleph. And the function of it literally is to lack value and or content. So it says, do not lift up the name of Yahweh, your powers, to lack value and or content. Because he will not hold him guiltless who lifts up the name to lack value and or content. Remember in John 12, 32, Yeshua said, and I, if I be lifted up, I will, if I be lifted up from the earth, I will draw all men unto me. Yeshua said that. If I be lifted up from the earth, I will draw all men unto me. And he, had, he was lifted up, and he is still drawing men to this day to worship and serve and be a disciple of him. So, uh, the third commandment, we can understand now, because it comes after the first commandment, which is you will not have any powers above my presence or above my face. And the second one is you will not make any graven images of any likeness in heavens, in the earth, or in the waters under the earth. You will not make any graven images, any statues, any pictures to remind you of me. And it is because you and me, we are the only image that the world creation needs to remind everyone of him. He invested in us with a purpose and responsibility. And no amulets, no crosses, no pictures can take the place of what he gave you and myself responsibility for and that's to remind people of Him and that they have a purpose to fulfill. So, uh, we are to live our lives in a manner reflective of His identity, His character. Because remember, we did the upload, Lotisa et Shem, all relating to Shem. Shem is identity, character which they translate as name. You will not lift up the identity and the character of Yahweh your powers to lack value and or content. 
So we who claim to be sons and daughters of the Most High, we are to be reflecting His character, His identity in all that we do and say. Uh, and if we claim to be His sons and daughters and we're not being vessels of His revealing presence, reflecting His identity and character, we are violating the third commandment. And the scripture says, He will not hold him guiltless who lifts up his identity and character to lack value and or content. Shalom, Tanakh Vizda.